lies keep emerging from George Santos, the Long Island congressman with a fabricated resume, such as this video. I put myself through college and got an MBA from NYU, and I have zero debt. Except he didn't go to NYU grad school or to Baruch College undergrad at all. Then there's the disabled veteran who says Santos scammed him out of $3,000 he had raised for an operation for his dying therapy dog. I was so livid that I realized that this guy is now a serving congressman. He doesn't deserve that job. It's horrendous that he could lie and steal and cheat his way through life. He doesn't have shame. He has, he's a psychopath. And here is Santos boasting about his investment skills. Currently at Harbor City Capital, I manage a $1.5 billion fund, right? And I know how to manage it well. I give record returns. Shortly after Santos left Harbor City, the SEC charged it was a Ponzi scheme that defrauded investors out of millions. Joining us now from New York, Kat Tim, co-host of Gutfeld, Fox's late night comedy show. Kat, it's almost like a movie. I mean, everything from his mother not being in the country when she said she was at the South Tower on 9-11 to the diverting money for the dying dog. Yeah, to lying about being a volleyball star, to that account where he may have lied about being on H Hannah Montana. <laughs> I mean, th th there's new headlines every day. I saw some local Nantucket news source with a headline, does he really own a home on Nantucket? <laughs> Uh, every day it's something new, and it's hard to believe somebody who, you know, we all know those people that lie a lot. We've mm -hmm. all had those people had to deal with those people, but it's really extreme to have somebody bring things like the Holocaust and 9-11 into it. There's obviously something fundamentally wrong with this person. Right, and then he doesn't answer uh, questions from the press on most of the things that have been factually proven to be untrue. Yeah. Uh, but then he puts up this tweet when he was accused of having worked in, in, in Brazil as a drag queen, saying this is uh, the most recent obsession from the media, making outrageous claims about my life while I'm working to deliver results. Um, except then later in an interview, he said, well, I might have dressed up at a party and had some fun. So it's really hard to know what's going on with this guy. And I think it's becoming more of an embarrassment for the Republicans. But of course, he was elected, so not much they could do at this point. All right. Of course, it's an embarrassment, especially when it is this ridiculous, because, you know, I think the top one of the top comments uh, or replies to that tweet is the photo of him wearing drag, where it's very clearly his face. And look, he doesn't get to do that. He doesn't get to come out and say this isn't true and have anybody believe him ever again for his entire life, which is why most people don't do stuff like that, other than the fact that most people, again, don't ever have whatever mental issue it is going on with this guy to actually, I'm not, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a doctor, but I've been alive long enough to know that <laughs> that is not normal. <laughs> Um, you know, there's no evidence that Santos knew about the alleged Ponzi scheme at this Harbor City Capitol. He was never charged. But nor does he report some big salary after having worked. He says he managed a billion and a half dollars. So more layers of mystery, especially when it comes to money. And I think these money investigations might ultimately prove his undoing. Right. Those are the issues where it could be, you know, a legal issue rather than just some of these lies where, you know, it was just for attention or he wanted to have this fantasy life story because he thought it was in more interesting than what his actual life story was, even though his actual life story wasn't really boring from what we know about. So I don't know why he did all of this stuff. I don't think any normal person will ever be able to understand why he did all this stuff. But the legal issues where he could actually get charged with things that, yes, could be his undoing. Yeah, I, ju I just can't figure out who plays him in the movie. You know there's going to be a whole yeah, bunch of, of docudramas course. here. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's done yet. There's going to be yeah. more. I don't want <laughs> to make light of it, but the entertainment no. aspect is, is hard to separate from everything else. So weird. All right, Kat, we'll see you later in the program. Next on Media Buzz, the press and the Biden White House unloading on Kevin McCarthy for putting Marjorie Taylor Greene and other firebrands on the Oversight Committee. Is there a double standard? Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.